What up, YouTube? I'm going to start taking out my cams. I'm going to start taking all the bells and stuff. Hopefully, I can do it. I don't know if this tool can make, uh, can re uh, remove the bells for me or not. Uh, let's see what it does. Let's start removing the camshafts. And then let's see if, how she goes. All right, already removed the cams. Let's see. What, okay, pretty easy to do. Uh, so I'm just going to start just taking these one by one. All right, I took all the, I don't know how they're, these are called. I don't know, bell hats, whatever. It looks pretty clean in all of them. Hopefully I, this tool can work. If not, I'll let you guys know in a second. All right, I don't even have the fucking, that tool don't work for this. I need to go find one on probably eBay or somewhere. Uh, you can, I just added a PB blaster to see if it leaks or anything through the bells. Uh, this one is it's leaking a little bit. These two valves are fine from the exhaust side. Uh, but the intake side, uh, I don't know if this one's leaking right here. This is probably leaking, and that was leaking. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute. I'm just probably gonna put everything back onto this one. I'm gonna look online right now. I'm just gonna let this soak. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. I'm gonna let it soak. And uh, let's see how she is right now. All right, pretty ghetto, but I'm bored. I just grabbed a 19 millimeter. Put it a couple times. And there she goes. So, took it out. I'm just gonna leave them where they are. And then let's see, I can just show you guys. Basically, just tap it with the hammer a couple times. Hit it. There you go. I'm gonna do it from all of them. All right. I'm gonna start taking my valves off. Cut them all off. I know some of them will be a, a pain in the ass to come off, but I don't know which ones. Okay. The intake side, of course. It's gonna be a pain in that side. But now, not the, not these ones. So I'm just gonna tap the other ones out. So, all right, there's the valves. They don't look like they're bent. They're good still, cause I know I didn't mess up the valves. But there's a carbon on it. So these ones right here are fine. Right here it's not, but it's all right. Uh, I'll try to pour them out. Now, I'm just gonna put these in bags, the parts of the valves and uh, all the retainer clips or whatever. And I'm probably gonna clean these out, make them look new again. If you guys know any upgraded ones, let me know. If not, I'm, probably, I'm just gonna reuse these. And see, this is what you do. Like why I messed up with. But it is what it is. Then I just need a Let's start looking for all some other parts, and then let's grab the other. I'm just I'm, I'm gonna grab all the all the parts and put them in bags right now, and grab the other cylinder head. All right, I'm done. This is my second head. So next time, I'm gonna start pouring these out. You know, keep moving forward. Uh, they probably just remove these valve seals too, but that's the next video. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So stay tuned. Uh, be pouring these heads out probably next week or in, uh, two weeks. So hopefully get better airflow, lose some weight, and stay tuned, guys. Have a nice day, night, weekend. Where you guys are from? Thank you. Drive safe and stay dirty.